हेलो एवरीवन मैं जकी अहमद आप सबका स्वागत करता हूं एक बार फिर से जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल में सो दिस इज द पार्ट फोर्टीन ऑफ आवर क्रैश कोर्स सीरीज इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फॉर एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स विच आर इम्पोर्टेंट रिलेटेड टू आवर एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट डज द बी आर लैम्बर्ट लॉ डिफाइंस think very carefully and here the correct option will be option number a yes the beer lambert law defines the degree of absorption of monochromatic light by homogeneous mixture so somebody would have been confused by this option also because in atomic absorption spectrophotometry it uses this principle of beer lambert law but it is not the definition of beer lambert law so the correct option will be option number a Let's move to our next question. The second question is in which of the following instrument hollow cathode lamp that is HCL is used as spectral line source? And here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, in the atomic absorption spectrophotometry meter this hollow cathode lamp is used which is for the optical radiation which is absorbed by the free atoms of the elements which we are going to analyze so this uh, atomic absorption spectrophotometry is helpful to trace elements of different kinds mostly metals of around 70 categories let's go to our next question the next question is what are the subdivision of gas chromatography separation technique so it can be confusing because i have only given the short forms but let's see what's the correct answer the correct answer for the following question will be option number c yes the gas liquid chromatography and gas solid chromatography are the two major subdivision of gas chromatography technique so here in this case the gas which is g in this form is the mobile phase and the stationary phase is liquid and solid respectively so this gas solid chromatography is a rare technique but it is the subdivision of this gcms let's move to our next question the next question is what are the most common types of titration technique the options are on your screen and here the correct option will be option number a yes acid based titration technique and redox titration technique are the common types among these four techniques which are redox reaction means redox titration means the oxidation and reduction reaction which is happening and in acid base the reaction between acid and base takes place so let's move to the next question the next question is which sample analysis technique is a non destructive kind so here the correct option will be option number c yes in case of x ray diffraction technique there is a non destructive technique analysis but in other case such as flame photometry or emission spectrophotometry it is a destructive kind of analytical technique because for example in flame photometry the flame is used to excite the elements through the flame let's move to our next question the next question is if someone wishes to measure total arsenic ion arsenic plus 3 ion and arsenic plus 5 ion in a sample so what would be the most suitable analytical technique for that person so aapko batana hai kaun sa sabse suitable analytical technique tool hoga correct option will be option number b yes ion chromatography which is also called as ion exchange chromatography works on almost any kind of charged molecule so in this technique we can get a graph of different ions with their different concentration at the final of this technique let's move to our next question next question is the acid base titration depends on the dash between an acid and a base so you have to fill in the blank and choose which option is the most appropriate one the correct option will be option number c yes Actually there is an acid base reaction taking place but the what kind of reaction is taking place it is called as neutralization reaction 
in which the acid and base react to form salt and water. So the most appropriate will be option number C. The next question is, which of them is not two with response to electrophoresis? So, आपको बताना है कौन सा सही नहीं है electrophoresis के related. So here the correct option will be option number C because electrophoresis of negatively charged particle is not called as cataphoresis it is called as anaphoresis because we know that the negatively charged particle are called as anion so from that anion anaphoresis comes and cataphoresis means the electrophoresis of positively charged particle which are cations let's move to our next question the next question is which technique is good for elements that are easily excited and don't require very high temperature so it's a very basic question the correct option will be option number d yes flame photometry wo ek technique hai jisme elements jinko easily excited ho jate hain aur jinko high temperature required nahi hai they are analyzed so the elements which are detected with the help of flame photometry are sodium potassium lithium and calcium तो आज के वीडियो में बस इतना ही सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल स्टे ट्यून फॉर फर्दर अपडेट्स